Don't forget the doc. Several network participants recently called into Dr. Rick Wright's Old School Sunday's radio show. Check this out. I'm hearing a lot of music from Boston, Massachusetts right now. And it is time for our incredible in-resident of music, the Associate Dean of the Berkeley School of Music, Boston, Massachusetts, Syracuse University graduate, one of the top authorities in the world of music, Mr. John Kellogg. How you doing, John Esquire? I'm doing fine, Doc. Right? How are you? Oh, man, things are kicking, man. I got a lot of lovely ladies in the studios of Power 106.9 Radio. A lot of new house types are in the house right there. All right. Yeah, they are exactly. here, you know, and all. But what's happening, John? Talk to us this afternoon about the world of music. Well, I'm here. I'm here with the biz, a report on the business behind the music, because everybody knows somebody in the music business. You know, Doc, right last year I reported on how songwriters get paid when their music gets played. You know, when songs are played for the public to enjoy on the radio, TV, and on the Internet, songwriters collect royalties through their performance rights organizations, ASCAP, BMI, and CSAC. But when their songs are sold on CDs and Internet downloads, songwriters earn what are called mechanical royalties from the record companies that manufacture and distribute recordings of their songs. Last week, the Copyright Royalty Board decided that the mechanical royalty rate would remain at approximately nine cents per copy sold after a hearing where songwriters asked for an increase to 15 cents and record companies argued for reducing the rate to four cents. I guess the CRB, as the Copyright Royalty Board is often called, figured it would be best to leave well enough alone. And this rate will be in effect for the next three years. The CRB also decided that songwriters will now collect mechanical royalties of 24 cents per ringtone. You know, ringtones are big business now. Ringtone mechanical royalties are higher because ringtones sometimes sell for as much as $2.99 each. Much more than the 99 cent singles we purchase on iTunes. Now, while a mechanical royalty is about nine pennies per copy, that's nine cents per copy or download, that may not seem like a lot of money, but it starts adding up when you sell a million copies of an album. Let's say an artist is the sole songwriter of all ten songs on her album. Ten times nine cents means she will collect 90 cents per album, and if one million copies of the album are sold, the artist may collect $900,000 per album in mechanical royalties alone. That sounds like close to a million dollars to me. That's, that's very cool. Royalties. Talk that's to us, right. John. That, that's right. That just goes to show you, although the record industry is a game of pennies, yes. those pennies can really add up. And the thing about those royalties, that could be happening 20, 30, 40 years from there, right? Absolutely. It can continue. As long as the material continues to sell, you continue to get paid. Well, that's it for this week, Doc. So I missed you last week. Looking forward to seeing you again soon, though. Well, John, we love you so much. Thanks for being my in-resident resident expert on music, man. How are things in Boston, Massachusetts this afternoon? E everything's huh? well. Everything's well. I'm going to see what the Patriots are going to do later on in the day. But it looks like the Giants are winning. All righty. Well, John Kellogg, the Giants are winning. Let's see what the New England Patriots are going to do. And, hey, by the way, there's a Syracuse University alum who runs that team named Scott Pioli. And you tell Scott if you see him, I said, hello, hello, hello. It's you time to get on with the big bad football show, man. All right, you got it. Take care. Talk to you in a couple of weeks. Peace. Okay, John Kellogg from Boston, Massachusetts, the Associate Director of the Berkeley School of Music, Syracuse. To the Syracuse University Network. Oh, love you, baby. We are getting there. Technologically sophisticated in 2008 from Dr. Rick Wright, Power 1069 Radio here in Syracuse for the whole world. Loving you, baby. Love you. Yeah. All right. The network reminds you that you too may call in to Dr. Rick Wright on Sundays between 1 p.m. and 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Check in with the doc at area code 315-428-1069. Don't forget the doc.